Giddy Line. The sun's out. It's like it's sunny. The like, clocks have gone forward. First day of spring, and the sun's out. The sun's in my eyes. Um, I'm at Finsbury Park. I'm doing another tentling thing. First of all, though, we have a very important choice to uh, to make. Some people have been saying that my choice of music on videos recently has been a little bit irritating. We've, I've, I've gone down the irritating video route. So today, I've got four choices of music for you. So listen carefully. We've got music choice A. Got music choice B. Got music choice C. And music choice D. And to help me choose A, B, C, or D, we brought Chris back to the videos. Chris, which hey, man. which <laughs> Thank you for bending down. I appreciate it. Because Chris is smaller than even better. So, uh, which yeah. ir which irritating piece of music, A, B, C, or D? Uh, uh, C. C. This We're going. My Chris. first name's Chris. Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we're waiting for a special train, uh, it's a tentative train that's come from, where will it come from? Peterborough or Cambridge, heading through the core. We have two things to explain today. When Dave and I, up here, did the Thames Link trains now running to exciting destinations such as Brighton to Peterborough and Cambridge and Horsham, we sort of failed to explain, it wasn't time in the video to explain what the core was and what the canal tunnels were. So I'm going to explain the core and the canal tunnels in this video. Today's Thames Link train through the core is going to be the first passenger train that is fully automated. It's the first automatic train operation on the national rail network, the network rail network. So it's the first full-size train like that that we have, uh, that there's ever been. It'll be uh, London Bridge, uh, Elephant Castle, then through the core, yeah, yeah. Uh, up to Kentish Town at one end, and then the end of uh, Canal Tunnels we need, on we need the other. To, we need to find it. But the so, drivers, uh, the drivers... They press a button and the train goes into automatic mode, and then it looks after itself. When the train pulls in, the door's already automatically all open. That's, that's the first difference. All doors open. And then, and then, and then the then, driver's still shut. And then the driver obviously checks and it's clear. He presses yeah, yeah. the door's close button and, and then the train drives the train itself. Mooches off. But only in the core. But only in the core. The core. The Which core. is, and we call it the core. It's the, the really the core is the two track section between Blackfriars and St Pancras International. And it's all reversible, isn't it? Both tracks are bi directional. Well, yeah, because it's all it's ETCS, so it's in cab signalling. <laughs> so, so sort you, of bi dye comes as part of you're that. Gonna have, you're going to have to explain acronyms e ETCS. I've just made that one up. <laughs> no, it does exist. The next King's Cross train arriving in approximately 10 minutes. There's a whole plethora of railway writers. Just like this train on platform two is all stations also, to Morgate for Drake Park. Also, Matt's here. You've been part of the process of the design of the new Tempting trains mm. and this, the PIS. When you're in a Tempting, do you ever like, do you ever like, when it's when your voice goes, see it, I get sick and tired of it. Yeah, but do I have you, to live but, with that voice. But do you mind? Do you go, do you, no, do you, do you play along? That. You block your ears, yeah. So basically, uh, a train that is travelling down towards London, um, when it reaches Kentish Town, there's a transition point into the automatic signalling just south of Kentish Town. Uh, there's a very similar uh, transition point coming in from King's Cross uh, through the canal tunnels. The driver is offered ATO uh, by the train once it's, it's established a safe connection. The driver accepts that. The train then takes over and will run into St Pancras, opening the doors automatically. The driver then performs his safety checks. Having done that, he is then closes the door, automatic system cuts back in again, and uh, the train then proceeds on to City Thameslink, Farringdon, Blackfriars Station uh, as the core of Thameslink. Once he leaves Blackfriars and he's heading down towards Elephant Castle, there's another transition point whereby the train uh, will be removed from the automatic signalling and the driver will take over, once again driving the train manually. In Pancras International, using your... So the colour pens are out again. No, I've got Thames Link pink and blue. See, I did, did the right colours. Did the right colours. We're going to draw the canal tunnels. And Chris, you're going to, like a teacher, you're going to correct my work. Okay. Now, so correct me if I'm wrong. All right. But can you, can I move your coffee cup out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the old days, it, it came up. 
and there were just two tracks. And this is that's St P. That's St P. Yeah, so just going to write. And don't forget there was King's Cross Thames before. Well, that that, that, that was like there. back down there. Yeah. Right. And then this is probably upside down for the video, but then King's Cross, sort of yeah. with all its many platforms, yeah, was. Was there? Do, do we call Kings Cross KXX or KGX? KGX. KGX. I think. I think in terms of underground, the Tube call it KXX sometimes, <laughs> but National Rail call it KGX. Yeah, we're KGX. Yeah. So, and then in green, I'm going to draw where I think the canal tunnels are. So, when you're coming north out of St Pancras, it, it then comes off there. It does. It goes underneath. It goes under. And there's just one that's like that. We're just about to go into canal tunnels. Oh, so it's kind of appropriate that you're drawing it as we go in. And then it sort of joins up. I'm quite excited about this. Yeah. I've walked through these tunnels, but I've never been Are we going through? Track. Yeah, we're, we're going through, man. Oh, here's the canal tunnels. <laughs> Chris has finished my map, and we've now... It's called the Canal Tunnels, because... Because it uh, goes underneath. It goes, it, it goes under the bridge of the canal, so we've drawn on where... And also, it comes out right by the bridge where HS1 is, where HS1 crosses the main line. Strange grey tube. So we've drawn on HS1 and the canal on an amazing, amazing diagram. We've come to the stop, that's presumably because we're just... I think we were ahead of time, I think we left one minute early in the end. So we're about to come into St Pancras. Yeah. So at some point, so just before we entered the canal tunnels, the driver would have pressed the button to accept ATO mode, and all the stops now through to Blackfriars are under ATO. It's a little known fact about the way ATO works in the Class 700 that when you press the ATO button, uh, a, a little driver inflates a bit like the film airplane. <laughs> Like that, and then sits next to you driving the train. So if you see an inflatable train driver in the cab, don't be alarmed. Surely you can't see it. There it is. So we just passed through abandoned King's Cross. Are you getting a GoPro shot of <laughs> me getting a shot? That's weird. Very meta. If I now got my phone and got and got, I'm going to do it. <laughs> if I, hang on. So I've now got a shot of you filming. It's all very. Can someone film this? I've done another hastily drawn, hand drawn map. Given it to Martin with my coloured pens. I've driven. This is now a picture of the core section. Martin's going to draw on with the green boundary where the limits of the ATO is, and then with the blue pen, draw in the crossovers in the core section to show you where trains can switch over to uh, enable a bit of bi-directional working. So the boundary, so these are canal tunnels, so let's say it's there, there, here, and here, and then coming out, let's say there, and there, and probably about here. Yeah, it's crossovers. And then there's another one south of City Thameslink. Um, I think that's it actually. Could you hold it up? It's very professional, well done. <laughs> I'm Terry, the good looking one. I'm introducing something into an industry that so they have got fixed packages, fixed packages of information in them, which as the train goes over it, it, it uploads information onto the train, tells the train what to go and do, so it tells the train to go and communicate with um, the, the central signalling system, I think called the radio block controller. How many of these are there in the core section and how, are they like every 10 metres? There's loads. So lo lo loads is yeah. the official figure. <laughs> they tell the train, the train goes over there, they upload information onto the train, 
That then tells the train to transmit information back to um, the central computer, so, to the regular signaling system. Signaling system then will transmit information back down to the train. And we've got more of them in the station because we've got ATO, so we need accurate stopping point for, for the ATO to know, so the train knows exactly where it is against the reference point. Coming closer, Matt. This is Howard. Not that close. <laughs> but you just drove the first ever passenger ATO train. That's correct. Yeah. You just pressed the door close button. Now, did you sort of fold your arms, put your hands in the air, or like, what, what do you actually do when it's driving itself? <laughs> I mean, the, the most important thing you're doing is, is ensuring you're looking out the window for the safety of what, what, the, what the trains do at the end of the day. You're, Excellent. You're, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not sat down doing anything. So but was it a strange? Just, was it a strange? I mean, you've done it in, in test, but was it a strange sensation doing it for real on a passenger train? Uh, it was different. It was definitely different because uh, I mean, I've been involved in the project for 18 months now, and uh, from from the test track when we when we started over at Enith uh, on the Hartford line to uh, working nights up and down here. Yep. And of course. I've got used to it over the over the time, and but today was different. It was different. We had the passengers on there, so it's a little bit of trepidation. But you you, you, you take faith in your own training, and, uh, and understand that. And it and it breaks all works. and it breaks all by itself, and it stopped at exactly the right point all the way through the core. All the way through the core, yes. <laughs> and just to confirm, so the safety procedure is before the train leaves, do you do you check CCTV in cab or on the platform? How does that work? We have a we have an in cab uh, monitors bank of uh, hold up. The whole of the train. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll get to the stage where we see that the uh, the platform interface is safe. Yes. We'll close the doors. Once the doors are closed, we'll then check check the whole system again to ensure okay. there's nothing trapped in the doors and, and no one's making a last minute dash. And then once we're happy, we'll, we'll press the uh, ATO start again. We have to press the ATO start again. Thank you very much. Top man. Matt, I just heard your voice. You were like you were like doing some safety announcements. What, what were you saying? No, that was the tube update. Were you doing tube updates? Tube update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you doing? Yeah, tube update. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't listening. I don't listen to myself. So you've learned to kind of like tune, tune out, out your own voice. Yeah. So that's it. A little bit of railway history. Uh, what day is it today? 26th of March, 218. First ATO train on the National Rail Network, through the core. Are you still here? No, I'm still here, I'm still hanging What, what do I have to do to get rid of you? Um, Sorry, I'll just bend down again. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, cheers. That, that's all you need to do. Bye. See you, Grace. talk to me again. <laughs> You're dead to me, man. I mean, thinking of doing like like a, a subscriber recruitment drive to my channel. What would really help, Matt, is if you looked at the camera and went, "Please subscribe to Jeff's channel." Please subscribe to Jeff's channel.